An Introduction to Equations Today we will learn what is an equation and how do we form an equation. In the previous class, we have learned about algebraic expressions. Let's relearn it with an example. Sham and Rita are brother and sister. If Sham has five more than three times the number of pencils with Rita, then how many pencils does Sham have? Let us assume that the number of pencils with Rita is P. So, the total number of pencils with Sham will be 3 multiplied by P plus 5 is equal to 3P plus 5. In this expression, P is a variable amount. A variable is an English alphabet in an algebraic expression whose value keeps changing, that is, its value varies. Now let's find out the total number of pencils with charm. To find the total number of pencils with charm, we have to find out the value of P because the number of pencils with charm depends on the number of pencils with Rita. Different values of P will give different values to the expression 3P plus 5. If P is equal to 1, then the value of 3P plus 5 will be 8. Or, if P is equal to 2, then the value of 3P plus 5 will be 11. Similarly, if we say that the total number of pencils with charm is 17, then we represent it as follows. 3P plus 5 is equal to 17. This is an equation whose expression on the left side 3p plus 5 represents the total pencils with charm. 17 on the right side represents the total number of pencils. The equal to sign here shows that the values on both sides are equal. By observing this equation, we find that the 17 pencils of charm depend on the number of pencils with Rita because charm will always have 5 pencils more than three times Rita's. So, we can say that an equation always represents the condition on the variable. Putting 4 in place of P, we get 3 multiplied by 4 plus 5 is equal to 17. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. 17 is equal to 17. LHS is equal to RHS. As we can see here, that both sides are equal. So, 4 is the solution of this equation. Now, let's understand what an equation is. An equation is a mathematical statement in which the symbol of equal to is used to show equality of the two expressions. An equation consists of one or more variables and numbers. For example, 6m plus 1 is equal to 13. This equation tells us that the sum of 6m and 1 is equal to 13. The equal to sign in an equation shows that the left-hand side value of this sign is equal to the right-hand side value. In this, the left side is represented by LHS and the right side is RHS. It is also important to note here that the value of the variable in an equation that satisfies the equation is called the solution of the equation. Similarly, 3P plus 5 is equal to 8. This equation shows us that the sum of 3P and 5 is 8. The left side of the equation is 3p plus 5 and the right side is 8. The value of p that satisfies this equation will be called the solution of this equation. Let's understand it with the help of a weighing scale. An equation is like a weighing scale. If you look at a weighing scale, then you must know that the two sides of the weighing scale should be of equal weights 
for it to be balanced. If we increase the weight in the right pan, then the left pan rises and the weighing scale is not balanced. The same rule applies to the equation. In a balanced equation, the left side is always equal to the right side. Today we learned what is an equation and how to develop an equation. Hope that you have gained good understanding of equations. Now, in the next video, we will get to know them better. Thank you.